Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How's everything? How guys are you today? Sorry, teacher. Uh, sorry, teacher. I can hear. Give me one second. I am trying to see if it is my audio. Give me one second. I think it is my audio. Can you listen to me now? Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. yes. All right. So. Ah, okay, guys, so we are going to start, you know, uh, with uh, tonight's class. Uh, actually, uh, tonight, we're going to have a class a little bit different in comparison to the uh, previous ones, in which uh, the previous ones, I, I have been giving a lot of information to you guys. But now we're going to have a class a little bit different. Why different? Because in this class, you guys are going to be the protagonists. How come? Because tonight we have practice time. What does it mean, guys? It means that we're going to be working in groups, right? Uh, you know, like discussing a, a couple of uh, items related to the topic that we were discussing yesterday. And uh, probably in the second hour, I will share something about uh, a topic that we were discussing last week uh, that appears in the planning and, and we have to cover. So we have, yeah, a lot of things to do tonight, but mostly related to you guys, right? In which you uh, are going to be the protagonist, as I'm saying, you know, like I was, I was saying before it is going to be more practical to you guys. Give me one second. It says, uh, good evening today and tomorrow I'll be in a work at activities. Uh, and said, okay, thank you, Fatima, to let me know that you're going to be as a listener. All right, so in order to start, guys, I am going to pass the attendance list. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Jesus, why is this taking so long? All right, just give me a second. Uh, okay, good. So let's uh, start. Carmen Eugenia. Carmen here? Not yet? Okay. There is just give me a second, guys. Uh, Christian Alejandro? Present. Okay, excellent. Daniel Arquimedes? Present. Okay, very good. Daisy Maricela? Hmm. Okay, so she's not here yet. Edwin Alexander. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Edwin Vladimir. Okay, so he's not here yet. Estela Mabel. Okay, not here. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, perfect. Fatima Lourdes, which is uh, working right now. Jaime Antonio. Okay, no here yet. Mm, Eduardo Jose. I think Eduardo is the one that posted on, on WhatsApp a moment ago. That he has his baby sick. Carla Lisette. Hmm. All right, so she is not here yet. 
Genia Sicilia. Ok, no even her. Let's move. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Ok, perfect. Manuel Antonio. Hmm. I haven't seen Manuel recently. María Gabriela. Okay, so she's not here. Mary Raquel. Present. Okay, great. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, very good. And we have the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, very good. There you go. Okay, guys. I am here, teacher. Ah, Kenya. Okay. Here you go. I just mentioned it like a moment ago. Let me see. Kenya, Cecilia, where is... Okay. Okay. I... As I in the attendance list, no problem. All right, guys. So let's start with the class content. You know, like the things that we're going to be discussing tonight. But before starting, you know, like in discussions about the activities that we're going to be discussing and developing, I would like to start with a short feedback because it's really important to bring up the main topic that we were discussing yesterday. We're going to need it, by the way. And, you know, like, like uh, the, the, the most important areas uh, that we were discussing yesterday. So, guys, what was the discussion from yesterday? What was the class about yesterday? Do you remember the topic, guys? What was it? What was the topic and what we were doing yesterday night? Any participant that wants to break up the ice and tell me something from yesterday's class? Um, I I arrived late at the class, but I think it's logistics. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are talking about the seminars. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, exactly. At the beginning of the class, we were talking about what is logistic about, okay, uh, what Noemi, Noemi said, and then we were focused on the discussion about the seven R's, as Fatima uh, was mentioning, right? Okay. So what else, guys? What else do we remember from the previous class? Someone else who wants to share what we were discussing yesterday? For example, okay, uh, I'm gonna start with a question. What is logistic? According to what we were discussing yesterday, what is logistics? Any thought? Someone? Mm. Is that a difficult question to you guys? No, I don't think that. Let me see. Christian, for you, in your own words, what do you think is logistics? Um, it's someone or maybe in a company too that share of managing uh, all the operations to... Um, uh, to the movement to the movement of the products mm -hmm. or activities in in the most efficient way possible. Ah, okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Christian. Now let's see. Hmm. For people who were here yesterday, uh, Carla, what do you think in your own words? Of course. 
uh, the term logistic, what is that about? Hello, okay. Um, in my own words, I think it's like, you know, like the organization or that process, as you said yesterday, that, you know, a company maybe have is uh, the detail, you know, organization of a company, you know, when they sell products from the beginning or the origin, I would say like when they buy the product, the, you know, main material, I would say, until the product is, you know, consumed, I think it is. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Carla. One last participation. Let me see. Daniel. For you, Daniel, according to what you uh, perceive, what is logistics for you? Logistics is describing the process according to modern resource, people, material, inventory, and equipment from one location to storage and desired destination. I think. Well, oh. but um, you can use the logistic for a different situation and for business and other things. Exactly right. So business is just not about. I mean, logistics is not just. Uh, it's not about just uh, moving goods from one specific point to another one, right? Now, logistics includes. I mean, everything that we generally do. Yes, the first, I, I know that the first group that used the logistics was the military. <laughs> military uses a lot of logistics. Exactly, right? For every process to be developed in the correct way, right? Yeah, just imagine if you're going to have a party in your house, you have to have a logistic sequence about what you're going to do which, which uh, you know, people are you going to invite? How are you going to attend the people in the party? I mean, everything requires logistics. Even when you wake up very early in the morning and you go to work, that requires logistics because you follow up a series of steps that you know that if you follow them up in the correct way, what is, is going to happen? Ah, you are going to arrive to your work safe and on time, right? So just imagine, just putting this as an example. Lorena, what's, wh what do you generally do when you wake up very early in the mornings? What is like the process that you do in order to get to your work? What's everything that you do in order to go uh, to your work? First, wake up. Uh -huh. yes, right. um, go to the bathroom. Um, uh -huh. the, um, uh, have breakfast. Breakfast. And go. You have breakfast very early in the morning. What time do you have breakfast? Seven? Um, six. At six? Jesus Christ. Ah, that is very early. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> and after having breakfast, you go you go home. I mean you, you leave home. Yeah, I'm, I'm work. Ah, you leave home I'm, and go straight to work. Ah, you see, but you have a system, right? Like as everybody here does, okay? A sequence of steps in order for you to be on time to your work. So basically that's logistics. Why? Because it's a series of steps that you follow, all right? Appropriately in order to go to your work and arrive on time and with no problems. Okay, so basically everything that you do, guys, in, in, in logistics is there, right? Logistics is basically there. Good. So 
that's uh, you know related to the term logistics but what about guys the seven r's that we were discussing yesterday what was the first one can somebody mention the first one please what was the first one remember guys this is just right uh, product okay very good right product thank you carla remember guys this is a practical class today i mean tonight so I want you to participate more, okay? Don't be afraid of, uh, I mean, my comment is going to be wrong or I don't know what I'm talking about. No, the idea for you guys in here is to practice, okay? That's what do I really want from you guys, to practice, okay? It, it, it is not like good that I'm being here speaking all the time and you're like silent, just listening to me. Nah, it's not like that. You have to speak more than me, all right? Good. So Carla was mentioning a, one of the seven hours that we were discussing yesterday, right? And the one that she was mentioning was the right product. When it comes to the right product, uh, what are we basically talking about there? Mm, Osbin, what do you understand Osbin by the right product? Okay, the right product is when the, the customer needs either today in a, or in a future. Mm, okay. For example, okay. for example, laptop, smartphone. Ah, okay. Every product. Uh -huh. So basically, in other words, the right product is like basically when you as a producer uh, are very cautious and you basically provide the product that the customer is requesting to you, right? Because if a customer uh, go to a website and wants to buy a laptop, the people who manage the website have to send the appropriate equipment that this person buys right to the right okay location or to the right place that is being a uh, you know set down there right okay so basically when we talk about the right product remember guys uh, we are talking about the product that is a Acquired by the final consumer or customer in this case, right? So by selecting the right product, remember guys, you can have good benefits if you have a business. Good. Now, uh, what is the second one that we were discussing? Or you can mention them uh, with no labels, you know? So, we had the right product. Mention another one. Guys. Mention the right one. customer. Which one? The, the right customer. Okay, Carla, since you were the one who told me that, Carla, mention one of your classmates, please. Okay, I'm gonna see the list <laughs> because I don't know their name. All right, no problem. Okay. okay. Um, the first one that, that, that appears on your screen there. Okay, okay. Um, Mary, <laughs> Mary Raquel. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you, Carla. All right. What was that, Mary? Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, the right uh, customer. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, well, right customer. Yesterday we talked um, that is um, the people who need the product. Mm -hmm. And maybe an example, um, 
you 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 have a you have a party you have a party in your in your house maybe uh -huh. mm -hmm. when your kids and and your kids need a piñata <laughs> so the piñata is for a customer uh, special in this case are the the kids mm -hmm. maybe and we have a lot of products but uh for another customers Ah. Special product for another customers. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, very good. Uh, choose any other of your classmates. Uh, Mary. Okay. Um, let me see. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Any other opinion related to the to 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 that seven R that Mary was talking about, the right customer. What what number? The right right what said Mary is talking talking about? The right customer. Right customer. Right customer. Ah yes, right customer is when you select uh, the appropriate person to do um. <laughs> Your, your products that is uh, could be a, a potential custom, could be a, a, a big shopping, or could be a, a other a factory, for example, I don't know. Mm -hmm. is, a, is it a right customer for me? Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me see. I'm gonna put in here the seven R. Okay, so we were mentioning right now the right. Okay, the right customer. What was the other one? Oh, other one. Maria Graviela. Okay, good. Maria Gabriela. Yeah. Hello, Mary. I know Maria. Can you Hi, Maria? I didn't hear the, the instructions. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, can you Maria tell me one of the seven hours that we were discussing last night? Right time. Ah, the right time. Okay. Let me see. I'll put it in here. The right time. Okay. Good. Can you please select on one of your classmates to explain to me how he or she understands this this uh, this R? Uh, Fatima. Okay, Fatima Artiga. What can you tell me, Fatima, about this? The right time. Do you want to explain explain to us the right time? Exactly. Ah. Okay. Okay. Um, well, for me, uh, I understand that right time, it's about uh, the delivery process, maybe, of the product, and, and to ensure that the products are in, in time for the consumers. I don't know, something like that. Ah, okay. Select any other of your classmates to help you up, please. Providing another opinion. Um, no, I mean. ah, okay. Good. Noemi. Okay, the right time, I understand that is the most important uh, 
clauses in this in this part because if if the time is incorrect can be uh, the another topic are can can file mm -hmm. yes i understand that because um I understand that the 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 deliver the product in the correct time is uh -huh. very important. Okay, very good. So basically, the timing it has to be the adequate, right? Uh, we were discussing the examples from yesterday that if you are going to what distribute vegetables. You're not going to wait one month in distributing the, the vegetables, right? Otherwise, they are going to be, you know, like spoiled. And uh, of course, the customers won't buy the product, right? Okay, very good. So it was related to the right time. Okay. Noemi, help me out choosing any of your classmates because these people don't want to participate tonight. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, Kenya. Okay. Very good, Kenya. Okay. About the right time. No. Tell me another uh, another one from the seminars. So I can type it in here. Do you remember another the one? The right customer. The right customer. Didn't didn't we discuss this before? Let me see. I know it was the right product. Now I remember. Yes. Okay. The right. No, but actually the right customer we have it here. It was the the one that that that. Christian, I think it was, was explaining. Another one, Kenya? Sorry, I don't understand. Uh, can you mention another one uh, from the seven R's that we were discussing yesterday? No, I, 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 I didn't stay in the class yesterday. You didn't, you, you were not here in the class, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Okay, good. So, but I am going to select one of the seven R's and you give me just your opinion. There is one of the seven R's in logistics that is called the right condition. Okay, what do you think this, this is about, Kenya? The right condition. I think that the right condition is depending on the, the product because mm -hmm. you need to stay frozen, you need to have the product in the refrigeration, for example. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes. For me, that is the right conditions. Okay, very good. Uh, just ch choose another one, please, to help me out with an opinion. Okay, Edwin. Okay, Edwin. Are you there, Edwin? No, what is it? I think he left. I know he's there. Edwin, are you there or are you busy? Hmm. I think he's busy, but I can choose another one. Let me see. I am going to choose a who has this? 
What about the uh, this person who whose uh, name is a phone number? <laughs> what is? Let me see. Seventy four eighty eight sixty two thirty nine. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you. Let me see. I'm going to change your name, Miss. What was your name? Because like this, I cannot call you by your name. A ver, a la que le parece el número de teléfono, déme su nombre, le voy a cambiar acá, a su nombre. 7488-6239. Miss Daisy. Ah, teacher, I'm sorry. I have a problem with my computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no problem. I, I will set up your name in here. What was your name? Daisy Maricela Mendez de Alvarenga. <laughs> Daisy. With Y at the end or with Y in the middle? It's good. The word Daisy. Is with Y at the end of Y in the middle. I don't understand, teacher. I'm sorry. La palabra, el nombre Daisy es con Y uh, en, en medio o con Y al final. Ah, uh, sorry. Y. Yes. Y latina al final. Ah, ah, lo tengo al revés entonces. Ok. Daisy. Ok. Maricela gonna... Méndez del Baringa. Ok. Okay, there you go. Now you got it. Thank you. Thank you, okay. teacher. All right, no problem. Aha, Daisy, what can you tell us about uh, yesterday's class? How do you consider the right the... Yes, uh, specifically the right condition. The right condition. Mm -hmm. What do you think Oops. is that? Any idea? Okay. Uh, I remember uh, the the option uh, option the option logistic mm -hmm. is um, uh, the products the product safe uh, delivery uh, I don't know teacher I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Okay, you don't remember, but, but no problem. Okay, let's let's set up in here the, the rest of, of the seven hours, and then we're going to, uh, let me see, just share a couple of more opinions. Okay, so I got here the right customer, the right time, the right condition, and here, uh, right place. What are the ones that I'm missing? Missing. The right quantity. Okay. Okay. The other ones. The, the right, right cost. Product. I'm okay. The right product. Okay. Very good. And the last one? The right the price. cost or price. <laughs> okay, very good. The right price. Okay, good. Guys, talking about logistics, talking about, you know, like sending products or goods, as you want to call it, from one specific location to another one. 
I want we to discuss now which from these seven hours, I want you to choose three of them. And I want you to discuss why do you and your classmate consider these three out of the seven R's are like the most important ones, okay? I want you to choose three from the seven, and I want you to discuss why do you consider those three seven R's that you have chosen are the most important when talking about logistics, of course, okay? That's what we're going to do right now. The idea with this is like, for us to practice, okay? For us to speak. That's what do I really want from you guys, okay? Good. Choose three of them. And from those three, you have to uh, discuss why those three, you consider them like the most important out of the seven, okay, R's. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, but before um, starting a practice, Guys, with the camera off, are you there? For the ones who have the cameras off, uh, let me see, Fatima Artiga, can you participate? Yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go. I guess Maria Gabriela uh, can't, because she has the word as listener, so I want to include her. So Carla, I guess she can do it. Uh, let me see, Estela. All right, Estela is, is, is having a job activity, I think. I know, Estela is... Are you uh, uh, in your work yet or are you doing something else, Estela? Can you hear me? Okay, I guess she's busy. That's why she's as a listener. Uh, Kenya, can you participate with no problem? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Hi, Meg, what about you? I see that you got the word listener, but I don't know if you're there and can participate. Hi, Meg. Okay, I guess he's not there. And Fatima Lourdes, yeah, she told me that she's on a activity at a job. Elwin Alexander, are you there? Can you participate? Elwin, are you there? Mm, okay, so I guess these people are going to be out of work right now. Ah, okay, Edwin, thank you for letting me know. So you're doing something related to the, your job. So in that case, it won't be possible to participate. Okay, guys, just give me one second. I need to assign you manually because not everybody is going to be working. Okay, so I get this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So guys, please help me out accepting the invitation to the breakout room and remember what's the assignment that you have right now, okay? I will give you a couple of minutes for you to discuss that with your uh, partner. Let's go.
Osbin, are you there? Osbin, are you there, sir? So I'm gonna send you there, Osbin. I hope you can listen to me so you can join. I think uh, something important is um, right product, I think. Yeah, but uh, the right product could be um, can be a secondary because if the the first thing that we have to know if where we gonna sell my where where we gonna sell my product. And that's why I, I choose the right place. And the other one could be, I don't know, right price, maybe? Price? Uh -huh. Price. Okay. Or, or quantity. Uh -huh. Uh, I don't think I don't I don't know if you want one. It's okay for me. But uh, it will be so. It will be sorry. Uh, bright product, but pizza, for example, they they get to you know deliver pizzas. A time, right? But I think it is not counting right now <laughs> because of the traffic rules right now. But you know, time is important, so we can select that too. So we have right product, right quantity, quantity, and right time, and right time. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's important for the company. Correct product um, for, for example, uh, if you have the, the, the product correct for the customer, the, the, um, the customers select the product. Mm, yes, yes. Is it, uh, that you say, I agree with you that uh, all the uh, seven rights are important, but uh, for me, the most, the three most important for me could be customer, condition, price. <laughs> for me, but okay. Okay. So for me, customer, because you need to know or you need to select the, the potential customer for your product that you need, need to sell. Uh, so no, not all people, not all company uh, call by your product. For it, you should need to be sure about uh, the, your customer. Uh, our condition, the right condition, I think that you say is um, our product need to be in uh, excellent condition to for 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 transport for move uh, excellent condition. Uh, it need to be car about the product. Uh, I think is very necessary, more best, very very important to to have. If if you have a a business uh, like important, but right customer, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's more important the right product. 
for me. The right product, the right price, and right and right condition. Okay, because why why right product? Because um a good product with a uh, high quality is uh the, the customer they always buy they are a good thing uh, a cheap thing with a with a good condition so i think that the right price could be a, another one it can be okay right place right product and right con and right price yeah maybe 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 yes just because we like salvadorian people yeah a lot of in the price i was it's thinking about that <laughs> That's what I that it's was I say point. right price because I'm a Salvadorian and when I have to go on a, a mall I have to, to see the, the price first. Okay, I I see the price too. And um, sometimes I I looking for um, offered. Uh -huh. Looking for we, um, we saw some offers. Descuento. Uh -huh. Discounts. Offer. Okay. Discount. Discount. Uh -huh. And this is important to me because I don't. We don't uh, get a lot of. A lot of... Baby, no more la mesa. We don't get a lot of money. <laughs> that's okay. true. That's true. When you go to a store and you see something that you really like, but it's expensive, and you have asked about the price, what do you do uh, to tell the guy or the person who attends you, no, no, I mean, no, I'm not going to take it because it's too expensive for me. What, do, what, what is your kind of answer that, that you give? Oh, thank you. And I go out to the store. <laughs> Just thank you, my God. You got yes, it. the same to me. Oh, thank you. You're not I'm the kind to of... see another <laughs> you're, you're you're not the guy that, you're you're not the kind of person that says like de, luego vuelvo. <laughs> yeah. I come no. back yeah, <laughs> sometimes. Because <laughs> I no, heard, no. I heard a lot of people saying that. Okay. I will come back to yeah, but, but when they never come when back. When you say that, if it, it because we you are you are looking for another store. You're okay. try, you're trying to 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 search a a, a discount or, mm -hmm. or something. Exactly. But sometimes I think it's important. I need it. And yeah. Do I it's really money say, it's can like for another thing? I think <laughs> it's like, do I really need this right now? Is it really, really important? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Because there are some things that are really important, and there are other things that we just buy it just to have it at home, and that's it. Unnecessary things. Yes. The only place I buy unnecessary things when I go, it's just to El Dollar City, man. Uh, <laughs> when I go to El Dollar City, or... for sure, I am going oh, to shopping. I don't need I need money. <laughs> or to the shopping center. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I can. I can. Mm -hmm. yeah. but Shopping center is very expensive now. Shopping center. It's very expensive. What is shopping center? 
it's a shopping center um, is like a, a store that 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 sells uh, second second, second hand clothes. Ah, so here here in Oriente, it's not it's not called like that. Here it's called premium center. Um, yeah, there's there's one. Maybe in, it is the same. Thing. I don't know that. I, I think it's the same because in there uh, you can go and buy secondhand clothes uh, or any other kind of items like shoes uh, um, or any other things, but in the secondhand. And here it's called premium center. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't know that, but shopping center. Huh? It's very expensive now. <laughs> Actually, true. They it's are different. true there because because the one that is in here that I want the one I'm telling you, I am pretty sure it's basically the same. It's called Premium Center. Yeah, man, you you find uh, clothes there, uh, a pair of pants in what? Twelve, fifteen dollars, and for being a mm -hmm. second hand, it's a little bit expensive. 20 or 23 25 dollars exactly any any pants that's a lot of i think is if depend that what do you need for example if you want to to look um a shoes maybe but you need it for for like walk in the morning every day Mm -hmm. You can be you can buy a shoes that it is not expensive because they have like a premium premium clothes, mm -hmm. low clothes, something something like that. Ah, okay. Nice. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, guys. So I I guess. You 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 selected the, the three R's that you consider are the most important, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. So let's go back to the main session then, and we discuss them there. Okay. Okay. See you there. So I guess everybody's coming ready, ready for the battle discussion. And everybody's turning off the, he's turning off the cameras. Oh my God. It was sound like 16 people to the practice and, and you're coming just 10 people. <laughs> Where is the rest? What did they do? What did they do? What are they? Ah, yeah, they are coming. Ah, okay, good. You're coming very happily. Okay, there you go. Let's start over. Who wants to be the first pair? Who wants to break up the ice, people? Who says me? I want to participate first because everybody's going to participate, of, of course. Ah, as always. I, teacher, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, good, good. Oh. Noemi, who are you working with, Noemi? I work with Dan Daniel. Okay, perfect. Good. So, let's tell us what are the three of out of the seven hours that you chose, and why you chose them. Okay, Daniel, select the right condition, the right customers, and the right price. The oh. right condition is because the people um, uh, want to to see the 
the product in in the in very good condition and they select the the excellent product uh -huh. uh, the price is because uh, they they say that um, it's necessary to have a, a middle price no expensive and no cheaper but uh, for the people can buy okay. and the well. and the customer is because the the daniel says that it's necessary to know what kind of customer we we need like a company mm. Okay, good point of view. Okay, there you go. Very good. Okay, well explained. Daniel, something to add? Because basically... Yes, I was working with Noemi. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, Noemi select uh, three rights of seven hours. Or mm -hmm. is, let me say for... For she, the most important was condition, right? The right condition. Because um, uh, it's, it's very important to, to make excellent condition, the product, if you need to transport, if you need to uh, have in your warehouse, the condition need is very, very, very important. For the product, because if in if you don't have it, the excellent condition, the product will have a damage. Um, other things, other others, why uh, the right time for Naomi? Let me say that the right time the product will be on time in the or in the destination that uh, the customer needed. Mm -hmm. The other things, uh, the first one, uh, let me say that the right product is very important too, because uh, you need to, to know uh, your customer that you sell your product. Um, you need to select the a potential custom but customer to sell your product if if you have a, a big business uh you need to know uh, the savings the, the, really the savings are important but for she was the only three additional time and products ah, okay very good well explained daniel thank you all right and okay. thank you for knowing me you did it excellent Good, Christian. Your turn, sir, with the Estela Mabel. Okay, explain okay. the three out of the seven hours that you chose, like the ones on the top for you guys. Okay, in my case, I see it like if I want to, if I want to create a store. I choose the tree because of that. Uh, if I live in San Salvador, I want to know what consumers need, what it demand in my place. So for me, the right place can be the first one. After that, I can choose the the right products to the to the right consumer, mm -hmm. and the last one can be the right price because I'm a Salvadorian. And all knows that if the the price are high, I I can buy I can't buy it. But you you have to um how do you say estar atento? To be tempting, to be cautious, to be with an eye looking. <laughs> I I can say that. How how do you say it? It's just, just to be uh, tempted, you know. Tempted. Uh huh. Okay, you have to be attentive to discount offers, and that's why I have to 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 be attentive. To bargain, actually. Ah, okay, good. 
good yeah actually yeah that's the first thing when i when i go to buy something i do a research i go to multiple places you know and the one who has the lower price i buy there <laughs> and that's what we generally do you know okay just to say money right <laughs> okay very good uh estela what else can you add estela Okay, thank you, teacher. Um, uh, we discussed about that. And mm -hmm. we uh, take these three R mm -hmm. uh, because they are very important for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we think uh, in, in us, uh, right place, uh, a secret place, a uh, knowing place, um, place, a popular place, mm -hmm. I think, a uh, right product. Uh, it's important because um, uh, we're looking for um, a product uh, according uh, or, or economy, I don't know. <laughs> uh -huh. For that reason, uh, it's very important right price because we uh, think uh, always in to uh, buy uh, thing, cheap and thing, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we don't get a lot of money. We don't have this opportunity to uh, buy a, a product, expensive products or, or or um, product, uh, Mark's product, I, I don't know. It's uh, very difficult for that reason. Uh, I, I, I think in the Consejo, advice. I don't remember the, the word. Advice. Advance, the advice, the advice of El, uh, because he told us about the, um, shoes in the in the shopping center <laughs> it's a good uh, product <laughs> and mm. is shipping mm. uh, for uh, for that reason we choose this 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 three are uh, like the most important ah, okay good you you know why I really hate going pla to places like shopping center because every time I go and want to buy something I don't find anything that suits me. For example, last time I was looking at a, a, a couple of pants for just to put as an example. My size is twenty is thirty two. No, actually thirty four. But there were only size 32 and 36, but not 34. <laughs> so I couldn't find anything for me. So I was looking at everything and I couldn't find anything. So that's why I, I, I really hate going to places like that because I don't find something for my, you know, my, 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 my size. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really frustrating sometimes to go to a place trying to look for something, you like something and you realize that doesn't fit you. <laughs> or it's too small or it is too big. Oh my God, that's funny. Okay, but anyways, very good. Well explained. So thank you, Estela, and thank you, Christian. Now let's continue up. Um, Lorena, now it's your turn and your classmate. Okay. Who are you working with? Yeah, with Osbin. Oh, with Osbin. Okay, very good. What did you conclude? Which out of uh, which three of out of the seven hours you chose? And we chose um, right condition, and uh -huh. right product, and mm -hmm. right price. Okay, why? Right product goes. Um, if we have a product we want, we want to sell, and we, we can 
the create yeah. the um, we create the need um, in the customer. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Maybe o sea, if 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 can if if we are a good sales. Seller, seller. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sellers. All right. Good. <laughs> so basically you you can create the demand for the people. Yeah. And see the people's need. And depending on that, you can start selling your your product. Okay. Good. Good. Well, um, the right um, condition because a product needs to be uh, high quality. Okay. If if high quality will be so easy uh -huh. Uh -huh. and right price, because um, depending of the quality uh -huh. uh, of the product, it can be expensive or cheap. Mm, okay, very good. Yeah, depending depending on that as well, right? And depending on the geographical location that you might find in, right? So that uh, might vary uh, the prices, okay? Remember, uh, not in all the locations, you can find uh, the exactly same price, right? There are items or products that here in Oriente are expensive, but in San Salvador or, or the central area, it's, uh, it's cheap and vice versa. There are some things that in there are expensive, but in here, you can find it very cheap. So it depends on the area, right? So that's why a research, a market research is really important, right? When setting up a, a, a business, right? Uh, for example, if I want to open up a store, I won't open up a store if I live right on the corner and right next to me, there's another store, right? And I'm going to sell exactly the same products. Why? Because probably my store is going to fail. Why my store will go, uh, you know, fall into a failure? Because probably I am a new uh, seller and that store right next to me, probably they have their own customers, right? That every day go there and buy the products. Okay, good. So, uh, Svin, something mm -hmm. else to add to what Lorena was saying? Yes, we, we, we select a uh, product and right product, right price and condition mm -hmm. because, um, because our, it's so important to have a good product with a good package and and it's necessary to have a, a product with a good condition and warehouse uh, okay and the price is so important too because the companies and when they when they uh, put a product high price the customer don't one buy. Yeah, I mean, it's true. That's true. Okay, good. It's very understandable what you guys are saying. All right, there you go. So thank you, Lorena and Osbin. You did it excellent. Now, uh, let's continue. Mm -hmm. Patti Martiga and classmate. Let's start with right? Daisy. Ah, okay. You work with Daisy. Okay. Which? Uh -huh. So, uh, we choose uh with Daisy uh the right product, mm -hmm. the right quantity, and the right customer. Uh, uh -huh. because uh with the right product and the right quantity uh we can focus with with what 
what the customer wants. Mm -hmm. So me, so we choose that. Uh -huh. And um, well, uh, Daisy explained to me, but I don't know if if she wants me to explain. <laughs> Okay. About why we should uh, write quantity. Uh, okay, good, Daisy. Okay, I explain a little bit. Uh, the right product uh, uh, we consider it is important because it ensures um, providing the correct product. Mm -hmm. Uh, right customer, uh, if important, the product must reach the right customer and meet their their expectation. Okay. Yes. And <clears throat> the right right quantity we consider. The quality of the product is important because it ensures it constant com consumption. Consumption. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Only that. Okay, very good. Very good. Well explained. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima and Daisy. Okay, very good. So let's move on. Let me see. Who is missing Carla and classmate? Okay. Yeah, I worked with Kenya. Okay. Okay. Um, we chose right product, right quantity, and right time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to explain why by product. I think by product is, you know, like, the main idea of something. If we have like a business, you know, like a company maybe, and um, we have to choose what product we have to sell. I mean, it has to be maybe something that is unnecessary or I mean a need in people or maybe something that can help others. So I think it's, you know, one of the important ones. Maybe that's why it's the first one is the list of the seven R's because if we have, you know, the rest, if we have the place, um, if we, maybe you don't have to rent a place, but what would it be, you know, how will it help if you don't have something that you have to sell? So I think the product is one of the things that you have to set, that you have to uh, choose first. So that's why I think and, and it has to be something, as I said, um, that you know that's going to make the business grow. Because if it is something that people won't buy, mm -hmm. so you, you weren't going to grow, right? <laughs> but if you know that it's something that people really need or something that you know that they, is going, they are going to, to buy, mm -hmm. it, it's going to help you, right? And right quantity, Kenya is going to explain that. Okay, perfect. For me, the right quantity is important because you have to know how many products do you have to have in your grocery because then this can be, how do you say, arruinado? Spoiled? Damaged? Yes. Yes, or, or can lose the 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 cost. Maybe these don't sell, and maybe the customer don't wanna buy that product because this pass of the styles in in this time, and mm -hmm. for that is important. Know the the quantity and don't have a lot because you can sell all the product and don't have a little of product because the customer <laughs> can 
um, search what they want of the product because all the product was sell in in some moment mm -hmm. and you can lose the the customers if you don't have the the product that they want no nah, yeah i mean it, that's true that's true true yeah and we have the last one that's right time mm -hmm. um we're both going to share something <laughs> so i think right time is one of the most important because of well, I think there are some, I mean, some points. First, maybe it could be the delivery. Uh, for example, if we have a product that we're going to deliver, uh, we have to deliver it in right time. I mean, if a customer wanted, for example, in a half an hour, half an hour, so we have to be there <laughs> in that time, right? Or for example, we are talking about time, um, you know, as you said about, for example, if we want to distribute it, uh, the product. And for example, we have to measure the time that is going, you know, how long it is going to take, or, or you know, the process that we have to, we have to spend in, in it. So we have to take into account that. So time is very important because even if we have the product or if we have the, the people or, any other R <laughs> of this list, um, but we don't measure the time. Maybe it is going to, I mean, the product is going to perish maybe, or oh, everything is going to be failed. So that's why I, we think that that's important. Actually, you're right, you're right. Okay, very good. Well, explanation. All right, very good. Thank you, Carla and Kenya, you did it excellent. All right, perfect. Follow it up with uh, the discussion. Let me see who's missing. Mm -hmm. Edwin Alexander, who are you working with? Hi, teacher. Uh, I was a listener, listening with, with uh, Lorena and Austin. Um. And and, and they talk uh, about the right product. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the, the, the location uh, help us uh, for a, a, a have a, a distribution a better distribution for a product ah, and, okay. and, and, and maybe um, maybe the, the the distribution mm -hmm. center oh, okay. is, is, is near to the to the store uh -huh. and and it it uh, help to uh, give a right price uh -huh. the cost is lower I think. Okay, it makes sense what you're saying, right? If it is pretty close, uh, obviously the, the prices are going to go down, right? With, uh, you know, with the products. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Edwin. All right. Any pairs that, are, that is missing? I guess, I got that feeling that someone is missing. Let me see. Daniel is already done. Osvin has a pass already. He's still as well. Daisy, Christian, Fatima. All right, so Fatima is busy. Mm, as well as Jaime. All right, so Maria, I think, is busy. Gabby. And uh, Carmen Eugenia. 
just as a listener and it, okay so basically everybody has ended up okay perfect so basically guys you have exposed which are like the most relevant or more in, the most important uh you know like aspects of each one of, uh, you know like each one of the seminars remember guys most of them are really important but depending on the type of uh business that you have that is going to be you know the one that you are going to run if you want to start your own business right so let's remember and let's remember it this is like everything everything related to what related to logistics right so to logistics okay so now guys what are we going to do with that information listen up i think it's 9 23 let me see i'm going to explain a little bit about one uh, uh grammar aspect that we have for tonight and then we are going to um let me see let's start with other things that we got i was planning to run a conversation to you probably if i had time i will do it guys i want you to go to page 22 in the manuals 22 in the manuals <sighs> the main topic for tonight it was related to one topic that we were discussing last week actually do you remember guys uh our say uncertainty words so basically and here we're going to talk a little bit about this uncertainty words we will discuss this and if we have time we're gonna do a practice activity again i'm talking about this one how to use expressions of uncertainty right what is uncertainty How do you understand by uncertainty, guys? When you aren't sure about something, maybe. Okay, very good. It's basically when you're not really sure about something, right? Very good. That's what basically uh -huh. uncertainty mean. Okay. Very good. It says in here, look at the examples in the box and then complete the exercises below. And here right now, we're not going to be talking about exercises. We're just going to read the grammar part. That's what do I really interested uh, right now with you guys. Check this out what it says. Expressions of uncertainty are used when you need to say what you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true or when you have to, when you have incomplete knowledge about the situation, okay? So in here it's like when you start guessing something and you are not really sure about what is happening, okay? Depending on the action that is, you know, like involved in there, right? So in that case, you're expressing what? Uncertainty. So we have the first form about how to use it. Okay. Uh, let me see. Fatima Artiga, help me out reading this part. This one that is in blue. Okay. Um, just the, that you, or all the. No, this one, this one, I'm marking. The one that I'm just. I'm just uh, Okay, use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a quote. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Christian, help me read in the first example, please. Uh, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead to lie off. Ah, okay, very good. 
I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the current financial situation may lead to a layoff. Okay, very good. There you go. So in that case, what is, or in this case, which is the expression, all right, that is in there that has as a meaning uh, something that we probably don't know exactly, people. By the way, do you guys understand this sentence? Is there any vocabulary word that probably you don't get along with right now or, or is unknown for you? Or do you know everything from that one? Layoff. Layoff. Layoff is like suspension. Suspender, suspension. All right, that's what it is. Okay, Thanks. all right. I guess that was like the most known word from there. Okay, very good. So in this case, what are we showing with this expression? And if you take a look in here, listen, this is the expression, this one over here. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. This is like the one that is expressing uncertainty. I wouldn't like to say this for certain. This is the one that is showing something predictable, okay? So let's continue with this. And then we're gonna create a, a couple of examples just for us to, you know, practice this. Let me see. <sighs> Daisy? Yes? Help me out reading. <clears throat> Did we get any report on when to expect the products? Ah, Did we get any report on when to expect the, the, the product? Okay. And we got another one in here. B. Estela, help me out reading. Okay. Not to my knowledge, knowledge. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they are delayed. Uh, I don't know how do you delayed. pronounce delayed. 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 Yes. What as is far as I know. Uh -huh. Very good. What is delay? Como retardar. Okay, yeah, yeah, basically it's retrasa, right? Retrasar algo. Okay, very good. In this case, it can be a load, right? It can be the delivery of a product, all right? And how do you guys understand this? Not to my knowledge. Literally, if you move this one into Spanish, it's like, no, uh, me? And knowledge means conocimiento. Uh, but not to my knowledge, what is that for you guys? No que yo sepa. Exactly, no que yo sepa. Right? That's what it is. Que estamos expresando ahí? Ah, we are expressing something that we are not sure, right? Something that we are not really sure that might happen. Okay. Very good. Now, the other one, and I think this is like pretty, uh, pretty easy for you because it's something that, that, that you practice a lot. Daniel, help me out the other one. Daniel? As far as I know, most companies selling good uses. Uh, finish. Okay, very good. I, I TPL for at least some domestic function. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. It says, as far as I know, most companies selling goods use a TPL. By the way, tomorrow we will know about that. Uh, TPL for the at least some domestic functions. As far as I know, what is that expression about? As far as I know. To be honest, guys, 
Have you heard this expression it, in the past? Have you escuchado esa expression? Donde yo sé. As, it's like hasta donde yo sé. Okay, very good. In that case is like that, right? Hasta donde sé. This is happening because of this, right? Very good. But in that case, what are we doing if you use what are we doing if we use that expression, guys? We are talking about something that probably is not true, right? Okay, good. So in this case, guys, what are we expressing? Uh, we are expressing uncertainty, all right? So for example, I can say, as far as I know, uh, a lot of my students didn't get connected tonight because they are working, okay? So in that case, it's a clear example, right? It's, it's, it's a way of example. And remember, it's just to show uncertainty, something that might not be true for you, okay? Good. Now, guys. Can you give me an example using as far as I know about something that might happen to you with a product or something related to your job? As far as I know, can you write down one example and when you finish, read it for me, please? Give me one example using as far as I know. As far as I know, Every Monday, the bosses have a meeting. Okay, very good. Thank you, Noemi. Somebody else? Guys? As far as I know, you are understanding everything related to the class. So that's why I am requesting an example. <laughs> okay. Me. Okay, let's as go. Far as, as far as I know, all my family is in the house. <laughs> okay, very good. Why are you mentioning as far as I know? Because you are not 100% sure, right? Maybe one member of your family is not there. Very good. Thank you, Lorena. Somebody else? Don't be afraid to turn on your microphone and speak, people. That is beneficial to you. As far as I know, my grandmother has 25, 75 years old. Ah, okay, very good. Oh, I'm 75 years old. Jesus, that's a lot. Okay, very good. There you go. Somebody else? As, as far as I know, we huh? rest in Holy Week. Jesus Christ. I really invite you guys. Uh, by the way, the, the, does everybody here are going to have uh, vacations, days off on Holy Week? Or you're going to work, guys? Who is going to work in Hollywood? ¿Quién va a trabajar en Semana Santa? Me. You, Fatima. Oh, I'm Me. sorry, Fatima. But Me too. Just as Me too. Oh, Wednesday. Ah, um, Wednesday. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Who are you guys? But, uh... <laughs> no, but at least we are not going to have uh, 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 classes. Yeah, as far as I know, because I'm not pretty sure right now. As far as I know, on Holy Week, we are not going to have classes. So it means we are going to make a pause on that, right? So after that pause, we're gonna finish with this module. Okay, very good. At least you're going to have a couple of days. In my case, I'm just going to have two days off, only two days. Jesus, that's very, 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 unfair but anyways uh, let me see let's continue daniel do you have your your sentence 
a good sample, a example. Yes. Have you done an example, uh, as, as I said? As far as, uh, as, far as I know, mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow I will receive my money, my salary. <laughs> tomorrow I will receive my salary. Everybody is expecting till tomorrow, man. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Ladina has already participated. Christian? Uh, I did it. Ah, oh, you did it already? I said, yeah, I said the example of my grandma. I mean, it's true. That's true. You did it. No, I mean, did it. Oswin? I think Oswin has not participated. Okay, teacher. As far as I know, mm -hmm. my cell phone is not working. <laughs> Okay, very good. Your cell phone is not working. That's complicated, man. Ah, all right. Thank you, Osbin. Fatima? Me? Yes. <laughs> um, as far as I know... Uh -huh. Tomorrow, I'm going to eat with a friend. Tomorrow, I am going to eat with a friend. Okay, okay. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Now, let me see who's going to be the one. We got Fatima Lourdes. She's busy. Then I met Antonio. I think it's busy because he hasn't turned on the camera. Let me see. Kenya, Cecilia. Give me your right sample. As far as I know, I'm going to work the weekend. Okay, very good. Yeah, so sad on you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Carla. Okay, as far as I know, I'm going to eat fried fish on Easter or Holy Week. How do you say Easter, right? Holy Week. Yeah, but but Easter, my mom hasn't assured me anything. But. Like, no, but Easter is like where you can gather eggs. What is, what, what is it? Ah, okay. La Pascua? Pascua? Yes. That's Easter. Okay. It's kind of the same, but just in the United States, right? <laughs> yeah, basically, Eastern. And actually, okay. it's, more, it's more celebrated Eastern in the United States than Holy Week. Yeah. I think. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Carla. Uh, who else? Let me see who's missing. I think most of you have already uh, participated. Elwin, did you participate? Yes, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Now, let's continue. Now, remember, when you use those expressions, you generally separate the sentence with a comma. But what about in this situation? Check this out. And I want, uh, let me see. Christian, help me out reading, Christian. Uh, which? I doubt. I doubt? Okay. I doubt, and it's very unlikely, do not need to be followed by a comma. Uh, okay, very good. Listen up, guys. I doubt, and it's very unlikely, do not need to be followed by a comma. Okay, this, uh, this, these two expressions are an exception. Okay, so let's take a look at that. What it says in here. Give me a second. Okay, uh, let me see who. one that hasn't participated that much. I 
Okay, so I, I'm going to select Daisy. Daisy, help me out reading, please. I, I doubt. I doubt. Uh -huh. I doubt it mm -hmm. is a good idea to hear uh, I three. To hire. To hire. Mm -hmm. okay. To hire a 3PL if you need to control the safe, safety, 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 uh -huh. safety of your company shipment. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Daisy. So if you take a look in here, guys, you won't find any comma. Why? Because we are just following up the pattern, right? I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipment. Okay, good. So in this case, this expression is not really used with commas. And we have the other one. It's very unlikely. Who wants to be the brave and said, me teacher, I'm going to read my example. But in this case, in there, like set it up in the book. I'm going to choose one. Let me see, especially with the camera off. Kenya. Help me reading, Kenya. This one, Kenya, over here. It's very unlikely for mm -hmm. a medium sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Ah, okay, very good, thank you. Pay attention to this one. It says, it's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own, all right? And why is this probably an assumption? Because the person, when the person says this, the person is not really sure about what he or she says, right? Let's remember that. Okay, good. How do you understand this expression? It's very unlikely. What do you think is that? It's very unlikely. Poco probable. Es poco probable, right? Oh, it's, no, in this case, it's like muy probable. Muy probable. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It might be depending on the situation that you are in, right? It might be poco probable or muy probable, right? When something is just considered negative. Remember, negative, okay? That's what we're just talking about. Now, any question with this, guys? Something that you might have uh, an issue with? Or something that you don't really understand? from these expressions is this is the time for you to tell me hey teacher this part i didn't understand it why is this part like this or something like that no questions okay if there's no questions let's move here Let's move to this, to this, to this exercise, which is going to be the last part I think we're going to be doing because of the time. Okay, individually there, people. This one we're not going to do it in, in the breakout rooms. Individually, I want you to do this exercise number five, where it says, "Circle the correct expressions." What are you going to do here? In here, you have a sentence, but in the sentence, you have two different phrase options, okay? For example, and here it says, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, or it's very likely, but we may need to change the distributors. Which one, guys, do you think is the appropriate one to best complete the sentence for certain for certain okay very good so circle that one or write down that one okay 
and then continue with the other ones, okay? If you guys have any question, let me know, please. Let's do it right now. Let's do it. If you have any question, just let me know, okay? Just let me know. For the people who got the manuals in the cell phone, let's remember that I am projecting the manual so you can copy and paste these things on your notebook. Okay, let me know when you finish, please. Just do number two, number three, number four, and number five. Let me know when you finish, guys. I finish. Okay, perfect, Christian. Perfect. We're gonna wait for the other ones. I finish. Okay, okay. perfect. Finished. Okay, perfect, Carla. Somebody else? So what about the rest? Are you about to finish, guys? Okay, so we're just gonna wait for your classmates just to finish. Finish. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Daisy. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Okay, so uh -huh, I think everybody has already finished. So let's start. Remember in the first one, okay, you told me that this is like the correct one, right? Good, but what about the second one? And in this case, uh, Mattel, Daniel, help me out reading uh, the number two, please. Okay. Did the manager finish evaluating the three PLs available? No, in my knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. Okay, not in my knowledge. Not in... Actually, what happened here? Not to my knowledge, not in my knowledge. Which one? For me, no, not in my knowledge. Not in my knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and for the rest, what about to you guys? Which one did you choose there? Not to my knowledge. Uh, not to my knowledge. 
Why not to no. my knowledge? What does because, not to my knowledge mean? Because the exercise says that choose choose the correct expressions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's the, the, the expression that best suit the answer, right? Okay, very good. Yeah, that's what it is. Not to my knowledge. Okay, very no, good. No, now, no. what about the number three? Let me see who can help me out reading. I don't have that much work to choose. Oswin, help me out reading. Yeah. I, I do it is effective to hire more than one third party logistic service. Okay, very good. So in this case, which one did you choose? I do it. Give me a second. I'm going to erase this. Which one did you choose? Sorry. I do it. I do The second it. one, I doubt it. I doubt it. Ah. Yes. Let me see. I doubt it is effective to hire more than one third party logistics service. Hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, does everybody agree with him in here? I doubt. Do you think is the correct one, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I'm agree. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's the one. Excellent. What about number four? Hmm. Let me see. No, I mean. Um, not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Okay, to the best of my knowledge and not to my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. Not to my, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge, why? Because um I don't know certainly about it the satisfaction of the consumer no okay very good very good okay that's basically one of the keys for this right okay good not to my knowledge very good I have increased customer satisfaction it says and what about the last one? Christian, help me reading. Uh, it's very unlikely for a small company to require logistic global service. Uh, okay, very good. Which one did you choose? Uh, the first one, it's very unlikely. Uh, and why? Uh, <laughs> uh, think about it. the reason why you chose that one. It, it's really simple, my idea. It's because they don't have, they don't use a comma just for that. <laughs> just because they don't use a comma? But got, yeah. Here you have, remember, you have, it is very unlikely or as far as I know. Let me see. If you say, as far as I know, for a small company to require logistic global service, now actually in that case is, it's like, if you put it like with this one, it, it doesn't like feel that it fits, right? Okay, so by consequence, it cannot be that one. And you are actually right. The correct one is this one. Very good, this is like the correct one. Okay, so let's remember guys, these are just expressions 
to show uncertainty, something that you are not really sure. Okay, good. Guys, before we go, what are like the expressions when you're talking about something that you don't know exactly? What are the expressions that you generally use? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't know. That might be something. I don't know if uh, something. Uh, but I don't know. It's like mostly something purely negative. Oh, um, I'm okay. not sure. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, okay, good. Somebody else. Uh, I will go one and one. Daisy, when you're not sure about something and you are like kind of guessing, what are like the expressions that you use? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I know. Guess. I, I guess. I guess. I suppose. Very good. Very good. Okay. Nice. All right. So I can say like like. I hope. <laughs> I hope, but. Um, I wish. <laughs> but I hope. But I hope. When you when you pronounce I uh, I hope. It is because you are expecting something to happen. So in that case, it cannot be that negative. Actually, oh. in that case, instead of uh, expressions of uncertainty, it will be expressions for certainty, the opposite. Okay, that can be the, the, the that will be the opposite. Okay, let me see, uh, Estela. What's the expression that you use? Um, I don't have idea. Any idea? This is my answer when I don't have idea. When I, I'm not sure about that, about something. I don't have idea. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay, good. And you're like, I don't have any idea about what time the teacher is going to finish the class. So in that case, you're expressing something uh -huh, with an uncertainty. Okay, good. I got your point, Estela. No problem. Okay, good. Ospin? When you're expressing something that you're not sure about, sir, what are the expressions that you generally use? Um, maybe. Okay, that's another one. Good. Maybe. Osby? Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that, that I don't know is the expression that you use or you don't yeah. know what to say? <laughs> yes, it's the expression. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So you see how uncertain this is? I mean, I, I was not sure if he was saying, I don't know because he doesn't know what we're talking about or oh, the expression that, that, is, that, that is used by him. Okay, thank you, Zvin. Let me see, I will go straight to the last people over here. What about you, Kenya? Uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, I am not sure. Okay, very I good. I have doubts. <laughs> I have doubts. Call B, teacher? Huh? Yeah. Call B? Yeah. Yes, you can, you can express something. Like, I have doubts. Mm -hmm. I have doubts about the possible arrival of the product. Ah, tengo dudas sobre el arribo del, del producto. Uh -huh, you see? You see, in that case, it's something that that, that, that belongs to us, uh, an uncertainty time, right? Very good, guys. Very good. Listen, guys, before we go, I want to talk to you about something. Listen. I have been watching, I have watched the platform, and some of you guys have not finished the homework from previous week, from the previous week. I still have some people 
who the who listen up who haven't even started the exercises all right that that, that you got the zero percent and i want to tell you something i don't know if you are very familiar with the platform but in the platform i have watched that every two classes and this week every two classes you have a homework it's not a homework per class like previously in here every two classes and you have a homework okay so it means that in 10 classes you are going to have five assignments in the platform right so besides that remember people this week we are going to do if everything is okay and we don't have problems and we arrive on friday and friday is the last day of the week remember this friday you're going to do the 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 the, the midterm exam all right or the exam that you do a uh, in the half of the course okay so i want you to be aware of that and as i said people i wanted to show you this look there are people who haven't finished their and here I can see your records, okay? So I can hear, I can see your records over here. So please, if you haven't finished with the homework from uh, week one, try to be up to date, people. Okay, I don't have problems with these people. You see, uh, even Daniel, you have sixty percent, Daniel. I I I know that you can increase your 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 score, okay? Yeah, because but, uh, I, I have I, I have a trouble with the, the for the Monday's homework. I have a trouble with the platform. I don't know what happened for May the answer for this homework. I don't know. Ah, uh, really? Let me see. Yeah. Which are the ones that you didn't do? Look, if you haven't done something and you want to check what you are failing on, it's in here. Oh, in these cases, it's one complete week. I mean, one complete class exercise. And it's the homework number one, two, three, homework four, right? That you have problems with. Okay, so mm. I come here and I check homework four. And what is homework uh, four about? Teacher, in my case, I, I finished the, the homework today. To the unit okay. one. Okay, uh -huh. perfect. perfect. Listen, this homework is, 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 I know it was a little bit complicated and uh, some of you didn't finish completely. You didn't get 100% in here because in here, guys, there is one mistake. This number two uh, exercise over here, it has a mistake. And what is the mistake? Even though you write down the correct form of the sentence it appears is wrong but actually it's a mistake on the platform because if you take a look in here if i give here on show the answers mostrar respuestas in here i have the answers okay of this uh you know like exercises but in here if you take a look in here it says the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. If I click on this, and this is apparently the correct answer. If I click on that and I copy and paste the information over here, and I go and send this, you see, I still got this as grown. So that's why I'm telling you guys, in here is because there is a mistake, okay, with the with the platform, not to you, but the platform. But in this case, in here you have uh, like what? That's why in homework, the whole homework it appears like a 90, 90, 96 percent, right? Because of this. So Daniel, 
I think it was Daniel. Yes. In this case, all of all of them are wrong for you. Uh, yes. Okay. Good. Yes. Let's remember in this thing in this in this in this case, I'm not gonna make a parenthesis to you, Daniel. Remember, acá. Todas las, todas las oraciones las va a comenzar con una, una mayúscula, ¿ok? You're going to start every sentence with a capital letter. ¿Ok? Sometimes it's a little bit tricky, these things. ¿Ok? You start with a capital and then the correct way of a sentence, all right? And uh, then try to recheck, please. Because, yeah, I do okay. really, I do really need this. And obviously okay. for people, and obviously for people who, uh, hasn't even started, right? Inclusive para las personas que no han siquiera comenzado. Okay, si acá tengo alguno que tiene un 20, 30%, please try to get at least 70%, okay? So let's remember that in Sapor requires at least 80%, okay? O sea, recordemos que en Sapor por lo menos re, eh, pide un 80%, right? So try not to, you know, like, be less than that and and have issues in the future okay good it was it, that was like everything i wanted to show up to you guys so i will go ahead and pass the attendance list and that's going to be everything for tonight so just give me a second guys let's see carmen eugenia She's there, but probably she's busy. Uh, Christian Eduardo. Christian Alejandro, present. Ah, okay, yeah, Christian Alejandro. Uh, Daniel Arquimedes. Present. Okay, perfect. Let me see. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, excellent. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, very good. Edwin Vladimir. She's not connected. Estela Mabel. Present. Okay, perfect. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, Fatima. No. Fatima. Oh. Huh? Stay for a couple of minutes right after the class, because today it's it's your 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 feedback time. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna be for a couple of minutes. No, no, don't worry. I'm not gonna have you for a long time, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Fatima Lourdes, all right, she was working. Jaime Antonio. I saw that Jaime was connected, but I didn't see him. Okay, so I, I probably he got disconnected. Uh, let me see. Eduardo Jose. Let me see. So Eduardo is not here. Carla Lisset. Here. Okay, perfect. Kenya Cecilia. Present. Okay, very good. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay. Mm, let me see. Manuel Antonio, he didn't connect today. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay. Good. Mary Raquel. Mary, I think she got issues and got disconnected. Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Osbin Alexis. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you for getting connected, guys. All right, it was a pleasure to be here with you. I hope to see you tomorrow here at the same time. Have a wonderful night, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, Bye. good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you. Good night, see you. Good night, see you tomorrow. Okay, there you go. So Fatima, this this time, uh, 
Give me one second. I put in a way where I'm. This time is just for you to clarify possible questions or doubts that you might have related to this class and the previous classes, okay? That's the idea of having this uh, short feedback right after the class. So Fatima, I don't know if you have any questions related to the topics that we have been discussing, uh, something related to the platform that you might have. Oh, uh, no, for the classes, no. The platform, well, I, I didn't pay attention to the to the homework. So today I I complete the the homework that I'm missing, but I don't have any questions. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Just give me one second. I'm just gonna check your status with the homework. Uh -huh. Fatima, Fatima. Ah, you got 72% from last week. 72%. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Nah, it's acceptable. It okay. is acceptable. And you have done the 20%. You did the homework from yesterday, right? Sorry? You did the homework from yesterday, right? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Uh, yeah, because yeah, uh -huh. I, I see here the 20%. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. There you go. So everything has been okay with the classes. You don't have any kind of question related to the topics. No, I don't have question. No, Thank okay, you. Perfect. perfect. Let's remember, every time you have a doubt about an explanation that might I, I might be doing during the class, don't hesitate and turn on your microphone and ask me, okay? Because the idea for, for these classes is just for us, you know, like to, 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 to learn and at the same time, clarify doubts that we might have related to topics, okay? Yeah, I know, thank you. Okay, there you go, Fatima. So if there's no, uh, something else to add, I will, okay, let you go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Good night. Okay, Fatima. See you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Okay.